For as long as Ashgrove has existed, track and field has been in our DNA. We relentlessly strive to jump higher, run faster and throw further. Track and field isn't just a sport to us, it's a mindset. Our success stems from our unwavering attitude. Everything we've achieved has been through teamwork. Results don't come from talent alone. It's our effort that sets us apart. Our commitment runs deep. We are brothers. Without a doubt, we're ready to take the 10. Uh, my name is Richard Graham. I'm the Director of Rugby Track and Field. Uh, I've been at the college now since October 2022. I captained the team in 1990. Um, yeah, fa fantastic memories. Uh, I, I love track and field. Uh, I love what it stood for, what it represented then, um, just as I love it now. My name's Robin Martin. I've been coaching track and field at Morris College Ashgrove since 2014. I think that the team have come a long way in recent times. I think that they all get around the fact that we're a winner and that we can do so on a regular basis or be competing at least in the top few levels and I think that draws a lot of the boys to the program because they can see success. Track and field, unlike any other sport, allows people to come from all shapes and sizes. Everyone can get involved, whether it be from grade 5 all the way through to grade 12 and we're all part of the same team. Uh, my name's Joel Drew, I'm a 400 metre sprinter, hurdler, and the goal for this year is help lead the boys to a 10th championship in a row. When I was their age, I saw boys doing that for us, and you know, I do feel like it's uh, sort of our turn to take that responsibility on and help these boys and lead them in the right direction. There's a great culture amongst the boys, firstly just to push one another, and secondly, just um, the brotherhood and connection they have amongst each other. In grade five, I started track and field because sport was a big part of the culture and a lot of students were getting into it and I just wanted to get involved and do my best. I just love all the coaching and just how much everyone's involved. In Marist, everyone gets to go on events and we're encouraged to do it and have our best go. It's fun to like test how I'm going and like pushing myself to do stuff that I never thought I could. And when you have a good coaching program, the boys can certainly get around that and they can see the improvement on a regular basis. At the start of the season for the 100 metre, I ran a 11.4 and now I'm hoping for a 10.9. At the start of the season, I was hurling around maybe like 16.2 seconds. And now at the end of the season, I'm running 15 flat. At the start of the season, I could barely throw a javelin over 20 metres, but now I'm managing to push 50. At the start of the season, I was throwing about 9 metres. Coaches, they were just telling me, get that full extension, around a 2 metre increase, so yeah. I started the season jumping comfortable 180s, now I've gotten up to a 190 jump. I started the season at around a 10, 90 in triple jump. And over the course of the season, I've got over to like an 11, 70, 11, 80, pushing 12 in triple jump. Oh, big, long, slow, lumbersome. Yeah? My name's Eric Brown. I'm an Olympic level five coach with Australian Track and Field Coaches Association. And I coach athletes to every single level in every event in track and field. 
I think if you get your running basics right, speed's everything in, in, in every event in this day and age. And to run effectively well, you've got to make sure you do all the technical work, you've got to make sure your strength and conditioning's balances with your training, you've got to have good core, you've got to have good glute and hamstring strength. It's really important that you cover all those bases. If you do, your track and field or your rugby or whatever it might be, will have less injuries and you'll have a high level team. I feel fortunate that both Eric and Des are here as part of the program and we certainly wouldn't be as successful uh, without their presence and without their support over many years. It's not just one standout coach, there's four, five across all events. There's a huge level of respect because they, they see the coaching staff here at the college, uh, want to see them reach their potential. They see the level of support, the amount of time, energy and effort that they put in. Um, and I, I think, you know, that's uh, again coming back to the strength of the culture within the program is just that connection, that unity that we've established. The track and field camp is a really important part of our season. Uh, culturally, it's a really wonderful experience. So bringing Year 7 boys in through to Year 12, just that connection, uh, that unity, uh, that allows us to continue to develop. Certainly the camp is one of our key attributes that uh, help us win on an annual basis. What it does is it allows us to bring the boys together, grade sevens through to grade 12s get to work uh, and train together and that certainly brings all the team together for when things matter on AIC Championship Day. At the moment we're fortunate we've probably got one of the best leadership groups or best senior groups that I've ever been involved with. Uh, the wonderful role models, wonderful support for all the other students within the program. Uh, the advice I give the boys would probably just be, you know, although your event you might not think it means so much, you know, just being like a 13 second race, but you know, it all adds up. You know, a lot of boys think it's really important to try and win this 10th in a row. It's results based, and although it's a very individual sport, it's also really a team sport. Everyone's points add up. Everyone's behind you. It doesn't matter if you're the top of the top or if you come last. Like, it's just getting involved, getting the points, you know, doing the best you can on the day. There's been a lot of really good work done during the season. So the key messages to the boys at this point of time are really trust in the work that you've done and trust in your process. Uh, it's about really enjoying the experience because that's a really important part of why we do it initially. And I just ask the boys to give everything that they've got through to the end of, uh, of day two at the Track and Field Championships. One thing I think that's really important is to get a good rest uh, the night before, but to realise that from our preparation starting all the way back from 2023 until now, uh, we've had certainly an awful lot of um, time in training and preparation and I don't think we can do anything more uh, than go out and execute on the day. We're just too strong in too many areas and we've got terrific coaches here at Marist and I think uh, with what we've done this season and how the boys competed and what they've done, the work they've put in and how I've seen them perform against the other schools, I cannot for the life of me seeing us getting beaten by anyone.
I think these types of opportunities to win 10 in a row come once in a lifetime. This team and the leaders have been absolutely magnificent in everything that they've done. I can only thank all the team for all their efforts combined together, but also it's important to realise that this started back in 2015 and all the coaches and athletes have started it way back when and have continued on since that time. Reflect on that for just a moment and remember that as you enjoy that opportunity to win number 10. Oh, well done. Yeah, there, there's a wonderful journey to get to this point. Um, not only the nine before, but this season itself. It, it's an extraordinary effort to win 10 championships in a row. So, you know, to the boys, well done. Thoroughly deserve the success that you've had. To the coaches, thanks again. You've been absolutely extraordinary throughout this season in terms of your support, um, and your technical expertise, your guidance. So to everyone involved this year, well done, enjoy it, and let's come back for number 11.